Could multiple stab wounds mean shorter lives? A new study on primates from the National Institute of Health says it's possible. This is a huge step forward in understanding the short and long-term health effects of repeated stabbing. In the $1.2 million study, a test group of 3,000 monkeys were stabbed between seven and nine times Quite each. Thorough. We used a variety of sharp-edged objects to see if they had any different effects on the monkeys. In the end, we concluded that they did not. Collins says the results were similar with baby monkeys, old monkeys, and pregnant monkeys. The results were steady no matter where the monkeys were punctured, in the stomach, the neck, even the eye sockets. The same was true for every species tested, from yellow-tailed woolly monkeys to squirrel monkeys, the small gray monkeys with tufts of downy fur framing their faces. There was a control group that was not stabbed. This group was merely punched. It didn't matter whether we punched them two, three hundred times. All they experienced was bruising. This tells us that the effects of stab wounds are more physical than psychological. Collins and her team hope to secure funding for future studies on the effects of bludgeoning and boiling. And when we continue here tonight, the Catholic Church officially denounces spooning.